All right, what's going on friends? In this video, I am going to be running my used oil burner. Now I have a few videos on this if you wanna see exactly how I made this. Um, I have one, another video too. Most of you guys maybe already seen that on I show you how much oil I do burn up in this. And I still think I might make a video on putting that inside my fireplace. But in this video, I'm gonna run used motor oil a lot of it's this 0W20 because that's what I take in my Tundra and my Pilot. And I'm gonna put some diesel in it. So I'm gonna run a mixture of used oil and diesel. Just to see if it burns any different. I don't know, burns hotter, cleaner, I don't know. I just wanted to try it out. So continue watching, this is gonna be a really quick video and I'll let you know how this turns out in the end. All right, let me measure, see how much oil I do have in my tank here. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos on this used oil burner, I made this little stick up and it has little marks on there with like a marker. So every mark is one gallon. So I can just stick that down in there. It's gonna give me at least an approximate. And it looks like I'm up to my two gallon mark. So I'm gonna try putting one quart of diesel to two gallons of oil. And if I don't like that, I'll just add a little more oil, but I got, I don't know, at least a couple gallons of diesel here. So let me just pour it into here. This is how I measure it out. This already has some diesel in it. Let's put some gloves on because diesel smells stinks. Exactly a quart. I had a little bit more than two gallons in there. So I'm just going to put a little extra. That's going to be one quart to two gallons of oil. Let's dump that in there. I'm going to need a little bit of that to get that started. It's, it's really hard to just light oil. What burns hotter? Do you think diesel burns hotter or does oil just regular used car oil, truck oil burn hotter. I don't know. But one thing I do know, it's just going to thin this oil out. So I don't know what that's going to do. I've never done this before, but I like, I wish there was, I could get some heat going up through my chimney or my stack here. My, we want to call it the exhaust, your chimney, your there let that burn i think that'll get i just want to start if you once you get heat going up through there it will help that um it's going to pull because when i start lighting this oil up it's going to kind of smoke for a little bit and that way to get the smoke to suck right out my chimney i hope that's what i'm trying for all right so let me get some diesel down in there let me shut this put some oil down in my pan down there Here's my main valve I only ever have that shut when I have this cover over it if I didn't have this cover over it oil would just start shooting out all over the through this if I had this shut so let me it's about the size of a pencil lead now I still got my little fire starter in there I just wanted to get that heat like I said up through my chimney so when I light this all that I don't get too much smoke here in my garage because first time I've ever done that, just a, it's a good way maybe to get some heat up through there. But I'm just waiting down here in my pan. I start seeing some oil. Then and I just have a little bit of diesel in here still. I'm going to dump that in there and light it on fire. Now, when I do get this lit off, if you've never burnt a used oil burner, you can't just get it lit and then walk away. I 100% don't recommend that. I really myself still don't even just trust this fully. Um, one thing I found though is when you get it lit off, now it's gonna like warm up my garage, it's gonna warm up my used oil right here next to me. And when that oil gets hotter, it's gonna get thinner, so it's gonna flow faster. So you'd have def I have to watch this just off and on for, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half at least until everything kind of warms up. And then eventually once I get it set, I can kind of let it go and it just keeps burning and I can work here in my garage. So 
I just check it off and on. I've never really had any problems with it, but um, this is this video, like I'm, I'm going to say right now, this video is just for demonstration purposes only because this is really not like no certified way to burn used oil. You can actually buy a certified used oil burner to put in your shop or garage if you want to. But the there we go. I see. I'm starting to see some oil. I'm going to dump that diesel down in there. And then I take my torch. And light it off. There we go. It's lit. You can already see that flame coming up through there. And I don't even have the fan on yet. Watch when I turn this fan on. Just crank this on. I'm just going to turn it on real slow. There you go. I can already start to hear it heating up. See what happens when I turn that fan up. it that high you can't even hardly smell anything right now let me get my carbon monoxide detector because that's one thing I've seen other people ask is there any carbon monoxide from this and I really don't believe there's any because it's all going out the chimney or all going out my exhaust right, let's get this thing turned on it's got to hold the power button in She's going to fire up. She's going to go through some checks. See, that's what it looks like. Showing my ranges. Right now I am showing eight, which is really, really low in the safe zone. That may be just because I just lit this thing off. Well, there, it went down to six. Let's put it closer to it. Eight, six, eight. I kind of almost think maybe once this really, really warms up, this might go back down to zero. But showing safe. I get worse than that if I turn on my torpedo heater, like way worse. That's the carbon monoxide. Looks really, really good to me. I'm going to leave this on. I'll just sit it right here next to me. Let's put it right over here. Let me show you some temperatures on this. I just got this lit off, so it's probably not that hot. Let's see what my concrete is. Showing about 65 degrees right now on my the concrete below it. I shoot it over there on that white wall. Yeah, 60 degrees back there. This is my exhaust temperature. Right now it's 260, 260 degrees right here on the top of my wood burner. 145 degrees. And I think some people get a little wound up. Let's see what it looks like down there, right on the, right on the rotor I built it out of. 200 degrees. 286. That steel, like the steel pipe I made, kind of for it, is 400 degrees, and the dog dish itself is only like about 100 degrees. There, that's that exhaust again, 416 degrees. All right, let me show you up close and personal here. There we go, that's what it looks like there. It's kind of going in and out here. I probably got to adjust it, give it a little more air or something. But Now this is what flow I got coming in right now. Definitely feels pretty good and hot here. That's just my little fan. That's all I have that's blowing air in it. I'm going to turn up my oil. Maybe give it a little bit more air. All right, let me take you outside real quick, and I'll show you up on my roof, probably hardly any smoke at all coming out of my chimney. So let me take you out there. 
Yep, there you go. I can barely see anything. Just a little bit. Maybe I'll give it a little more air. See if I can clean that up. You can't smell anything out here. Looks pretty clean out there. I don't smell anything out there. I know I've had a few people comment, do you smell anything? Can you, is, it, is that smell gonna drive my neighbors crazy? I'm gonna play with this a little while or a little longer, try to get it heated up just a little bit more. All right, let me get back with you here. It's like 11, 16, so maybe, maybe around, I don't know, say 11, 45, 12 o'clock. All right, well, I changed my mind. Instead of running this for like an extra hour, I ended up running it for about three hours. So it's been running like that for about three hours. And it's pretty much all 100% settled in. I could probably let it sit there and run another three, four, or five hours until I at least run out of oil if I want. Now, if I had more oil, I could just keep filling my, my little oil container up over there, which is just a used gas can. Oh, I gotta get back. It's definitely heated it up to the top temperature that I'm, I wanna run it out. Now, I could run it hotter. I have my fan running like about as low as I can possibly run it. And there's down here in the dog dish. Let me show you some of this. And I'll show you the temperatures of this. I, the next video, I'm going to make a video too, which will probably should be right here at the end of this video. I'll have a link to it, but it's going to show what would happen if that fan shuts off, my electric fan. If that electric fan just shut off and it keeps feeding used oil into here, what's going to happen? I, I really don't know. So it's kind of why I'm going to make that video to see what happens. I want to see if it keeps either burning or does it make the fire go out? And then I would just make a complete mess all over my floor. I don't know. But I want to see what happens when that fan goes out. So I will have a link to that video here at the end of this video. But let's see. I'll show you here. Let me show you there is no, there is no oil down in that pan. You can see right down in there. That's what it looks like. You can... Pretty much see where the air is blowing out of there. I have a 90 degree elbow down in there. You cannot see any oil in there. And as soon as that oil goes in there, it catches on fire. It just pretty much keeps running like that forever. And my drip is, I'll show you what my drip looks like. Right there. It's going that fast. Just the maybe the end of a pencil lid. And right here I have my fan set. I mean, it goes all the way up to here. But I have it turned way, way down. It's almost as low as it can go. My carbon monoxide detector is still running right around eight the whole time. Doesn't really change. Stays right in that really, really, really low normal level. Let me show you what some of the temperatures are on this thing now. now the nice thing with burning this used oil burner is my temperatures stay steady the entire time. Like I said, I could just let that thing keep running and running. Now I wouldn't, I don't, if you'd ever make one of these, I do not recommend leaving that thing alone. I mean, like we'll see what happens in the next video. If that little fan does shut off, I don't know what would happen. So, but let me show you what some of the temperatures look like. Go down on the concrete. Concrete is warmed up. It's about 100 degrees out there now. Now this is on the dog dish, right in front of the dog dish. 151 there, right on the dog dish. It's still 170. Really, I don't think it's got up over that. 170, 180 stays right there on that dog dish. Now that's a stainless steel dog dish. That thing is never going to even closely melt down at 170 degrees. Now the rotor itself is maybe between 350, 450, and about 500, 550, 560 on that, my little pipe that I built going up that. And right up here on the wood burner itself, Right there at the bottom is 360. 
all here at the top 400 420 the top of the wood burner is 400 degrees all the way around where the exhaust goes in down here in the middle 250 260 my exhaust temperature is 425 there 430 it will stay like that for hours i probably could still turn it up just a little bit make it a little hotter if i want but this is a nice steady temperature for my garage all right well that's it for this video now what i found out putting a little a little bit of diesel in my used oil i don't really think it made that much a difference now maybe I don't know, maybe if I would have made 50-50 would have made some type of difference, but I couldn't tell any difference at all. So I'm just going to stick to burning used oil in that with no diesel, except for I use the diesel to help light it in the beginning because diesel will light off easier than that used oil. So that was just an experiment for me. Uh, I thought maybe some of you guys out there would like to see that. Definitely really didn't seem to help me. So I don't know, watch that next video here. Right up here in this corner, watch that video on what happens if this fan right here goes out. If that fan goes out, it stops putting air in there and it's not going to burn the same. So I don't know what's going to happen. So watch that video. Give this video a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button. Help support this channel. God bless and stay warm.